Today we are going to discuss the one of the important properties of enzyme that is its specificity. In the topic enzyme substrate specificity. Enzyme substrate specificity. What is specificity? Specificity is the ability of an enzyme to choose exact substrate, substrate from a group of similar chemical molecules. Speci specificity is actually a molecular recognition mechanism and it's operate through the structural and conformation complementary between enzyme and the substrate. Enzyme show different degree of substrate towards uh, different degree of specificity towards their substrate. Important characteristic features Enzyme substrate specificity. What are enzymes? Enzymes are the biological catalyst which accelerate the rate of chemical reaction by providing an alternative reaction pathway of lowering lower activation energy. As we all know, enzymes are uh, enzyme can speed up the reaction millions of time. The, the important characteristic features of enzymes are their catalytic power, their regulation, and their specificity. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the one of its important characteristics property that is specificity. What is enzyme specificity? Specificity is the ability of an enzyme to choose exact substrate from a group of similar chemical molecules. Specificity is actually a molecular recognition mechanism and it operates through the structural and conformation complementary between enzyme and substrate. Enzymes show different degree of specificity towards their substrate. As we can see in this diagram, there are four substrates, substrate A, substrate B, substrate C and substrate D. Substrate C has a complementary structure to the active side of the enzyme. So it will get bind to, to the enzyme and convert substrate into product. Enzyme specificity can be divided into five types, bound, bond specificity, group specificity, substrate specificity, optical specificity and geometrical specificity. Bond specificity. Enzymes showing bond specificity are specific to certain type of bonds such as peptide bond, esters bond, glycosidic bond. For example, amylase can act on the alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage both in starch and glycogen. Similarly, peptidase hydrolyzes all the peptide bond present in any of the amino acid. Same, lipase hydrolyzes the ester bonds between glycerol and fatty acids. Group specificity, here enzymes are specific to a bond as well as a surrounding group of atoms. Example, pepsin hydrolyzed peptide bond surrounding aromatic amino acid and will accelerate the end and will cleave at the end terminal. Pepsin is the digestive enzyme of the stomach produced by the chief cell. As we can see in this polypeptide chain, tyrosine, tryptophan are the aromatic amino acid. So, pepsin will recognize the peptide bond as well as the surrounding group and cleave at the end terminal. Next is substrate, substrate specificity. Enzymes showing substrate specificity are specific only for a particular substrate and can catalyze only one reaction. Example, lactose hydrolyzes beta 1,4 glycosidic bond in lactose to yield galactose and glucose. Similarly, maltose can recognize only alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond in maltose to yield 2 glucose unit. Next is optical specificity. Optical specificity, enzyme showing optical specificity are specific not only to the substrate but also its optical configura config configuration. Therefore, they are also known as stereospecific enzyme. For example, L-amino acid oxidase will catalyze only L-amino acid and they will not recognize the amino acid with deconformation. Similarly, alpha amylase will hydrolyze only alpha 1,4 linkage bond but not beta linkage and beta amylase will catalyze only beta 1,4 linkage. Geometrical specificity. Geometrical specificity is the least, speci least type of specificity. In this, single enzyme can act on different substrate having similar geometry. Example, alco de alcohol dehydrogenase can oxidize both ethanol and methanol to give their corresponding aldehyde since both of these alcohols have similar geometry. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the lecture.